twice. About ever competing for Miss America? No, or just about, just how about the situation. Respond, about how you feel about well, your the country. Thing is, is I have always, it's something that I've grown up with, with a stereotype, which is why I started my platform, Celebrating hmm. Diversity Through Cultural Competency. And that's a cause I've been promoting for three years now. Right. And so I have always viewed Miss America as the girl next door, mm -hmm. but the girl next door is evolving as a diversity in America evolves. She's not who she was 10 years ago, and she's right. not going to be the same person come 10 years down the road. So now, going into this, I wanted to be the first Indian Miss America to be that symbol of a, a new face for the organization, hope, and let young younger girls know that regardless right. of race, their socioeconomic status, their religion, mm -hmm. that anyone can become not only Miss America, but anything, because I am living my morning After I won Miss America, and I woke up to an Indian headline that said, is Miss America too dark to be Miss India? Devaluri says criticism of her darker skin tone is part of an ugly concept known as colorism. What is colorism? The idea that fair skin is better than darker skin. The idea that white is considered more elite than darker skin complexions. And that inherently in itself is racism. By asking what color the child may be, is that inherently a racist question? I do think it's inherently a racist question um, in the context that it was asked specifically for her. But I think also this is something that um, is very normalized, just wanting to have a lighter skinned baby. And this is the first time that I've genuinely seen in mainstream media where we are speaking about this, we are sharing our stories. And I think that is one of the most things that we can do. I have a voice, I have a platform, and, it, and this is a moment that I can use and start a conversation because I guarantee you that if I had felt this way, if I grew up in America feeling that I'm not beautiful because I'm dark skinned, there are hundreds and thousands of other people around the world feeling this way too. And so how do I use this and start this conversation and ask the question why? The image you see here is probably not matching the image you see in front of you today. Because coming here today without a full face of makeup, with my hair naturally curly and no extensions, and trading in my five inch stiletto heels was a very conscious decision and yet somewhat scary decision. And while I was struggling with just the image of everything that Miss America is and was and what that comes with and the stereotype, I was also struggling with something else that was new to all of us, and that was social media. This was really the time of like the rise of the influencer era that we see today, and this was just starting. And so overnight, what it felt like to me overnight, suddenly in the rise of this, these influencers, I was insignificant. It didn't matter if I was Miss America, no one cared about my accomplishments. My worth was suddenly defined by my number of followers. I was simply just a handle on an Excel spreadsheet. And that was a game I was not willing to play, so I opted out. And no one tells you this, but when you opt out of social media, it's kind of worse than participating in it in a lot of ways, because this leads to a lot more self-doubt when you're just a viewer, when you're seeing everything happening around you, and you see the highlight reels, right?